What what about the end game stuff? Do you not like? Is it like the end game stuff after the first part? Because like they've the all, all the expansions that they've added on to it are like better than the main game. Like the like the initial purchase of the game is actually the worst part of it. And like I'm not saying that because I hate it. Like I love I love the first part, but like all of the stories afterwards are better than like the original that came out. Uh, uh, that's the, the part that sucks about the end of the initial part of 14 is there's, uh, I can't remember, I think it's somewhere between 50 or 100 quests that you have to do before you can get to the next, um, the next, uh, DLC because it was a while before they came out with the first, or not DLC, expansion. It was a while before they came out with the first expansion. So... It, they had to do something to keep people interested while they were waiting so they added like a bunch of end game quests so that you could keep you know going to get stuff but like once you get past that it's it's story all over again i think there's like six or seven uh expansions now to it and like they they keep winning like game of the year and stuff like that and like they keep winning different awards for for 14 a lot. Uh, what didn't you like about it, Cam? Is it like the mechanics for it? Or just like... Was it the story for you? I know the... When 14... Uh, oh, just... Okay, I can, I can understand that. There's a lot of MMOs I don't really like either. There's... I think there's like three, maybe four that I would genuinely like play on a regular basis like 14 is one of the ones i like uh knights of the old republic is another one of my favorites because you know star wars uh so i can't rem i can't wait for the kotor remake i can't believe they're remaking that game in all of its beautiful beautiful glory i can't wait to see what they do with it because like the originals for xbox were absolutely phenomenal so I can't wait to see what they do like on PS5 and Xbox One. KOTOR? Uh, are we still um, library sharing on PC? Cause, or on uh, Steam? Because if we are, I have both of them. It, they're, um, they're the same concept as... I'm trying to think of it. Um, Mass Effect, I think. Oh, okay. Yeah, KOTOR is the Xbox ones, like the single-player RPGs, and uh, SWOTOR is uh, the MMO. But yeah, SWOTOR is almost like verbatim the same way you play KOTOR. It's like the same control scheme. You get to make a Jedi or a Sith. I can't remember if you can make bounty hunters or anything but like you know customize your equipment customize your character like gain better force powers uh good bad decisions obviously mmo aspects where you can do stuff with teammates but yeah they're remaking the old the old xbox games so like i'm crazy crazy excited I could definitely I can definitely understand that Chris that's definitely one of the things that kind of makes me not play a lot of MMOs is the like unless I have an actual like team together cuz it's like the multiplayer parts of it yes just a warning in the chat saying stuff is going to get loud What do you mean Oh, that's fine. But yeah, like, that's that's one of the things that kind of irks me a little bit is the fact that, like, I feel like MMOs should have, like, be able to be played by yourself, but also 
be able to add the team element in like obviously the like a lot of the the team stuff should be optional like i feel like the like the team stuff should be you know if i want to do it there shouldn't be a mandatory aspect that's one of the things i disliked a lot about um the end the f ending of the first chapter of 14 is the fact that like the end boss was was a multiplayer raid and i'm like i understand that they want to make it hard so that you know you, you have fun getting through it and stuff and there's like still more story aspect to it but like if the people you're playing with are just like are bad at the game then you're not going to get through it i think it took me six six tries to get through the end of the the first thing just because like my teammates kept screwing up i was like i like i play tank in uh i play tank in 14 so like you know i aggro enemies like that's that's my thing is i'm i aggro enemies and i just sit there and get hit and hit things back well like you know yeah you're you're not wrong cam like if you get terror like if you get bad people you just can't finish them and like that's one of the things i hate is because there's some quests i want to get done in 14 like because i don't i usually only get it a month at a time just for the fact that when i play it it's the only thing i play to the point that i get burnt out from the game so i can't see myself actually sitting there and like getting a year oh my god you're not wrong at all man like healers healers have it rough because like if you're not like you have to watch everybody like dps is dps you just have to sit there and fucking beat on things like dps is is simple you just gotta make sure your gear is geared towards doing the most damage as you possibly can tank tank's not that hard either like you just you sit there and uh you just have to you know make sure you're not dying you have to make sure you get all your buffs on and you make sure you're you know making sure you're aggroing all the enemies so that your healers don't get killed and you know like dps you gotta or uh the you gotta make sure your dps aren't getting hit too obviously but like they're able to take care of themselves for the most part but like when you're when you're a healer like you're not really supposed to engage in combat as and as often as possible like like i find like i like i've i've seen some i've seen some bad tanks and i've seen some good tanks like same as i've seen some uh some really good healers like usually if i find if a raid or like any kind of dungeon goes really well it's always because the healer was doing a good job like anytime we get through any kind of raid or dungeon really really fast commendation always always give it i always give it to the the friggin the healer every single time just like no if ands or buts because the healer is the main reason that everybody gets out and everybody survives uh let's see teleport i'm in a dungeon why can't i teleport oh that's why because there's a this Oh no, so much for a smooth exit. Oh, is it a it's a wall? Oh yes, the wall. Right. Throw, shuriken, summon, levithan, jump, attack. Kiraga. Oh my god, you're I hear ya. I hear ya. Like, I'm trying to get like my my pa I'm paladin right now and I'm trying to get my paladin to max level before I start doing any of the other classes because I want to <coughs> I want to finish and I want to max out my paladin like up to the end level where I can get and then 
I don't know what I'm going to transfer to, but it's probably going to be another tank-oriented class just because that's what I'm used to right now. I may second I may second a DPS class at some point, but I think I'm going to stick to class where I'm at, or class tank. No, not going to play Endwalker? Why not? Oh, okay. Okay, so you're, you're a decent ways in then. Okay. But yeah, no, I definitely, I definitely get why you're, you're not enjoying it then. Like where, like where you're at, where end game stuff is literally just grind. No, I definitely, I definitely understand your, your thoughts on that one. Yeah, any, any reason why you're not gonna, or just like the reasons that you were stating before, just like the, the grind isn't worth it anymore? But like it's a reason I don't play like a lot of a lot of MMOs anymore. One one main reason being subscription fees. Subscription fees just deter me a lot. Like, don't get me wrong, I understand why they do it, you know. But like there's a lot of other um did I not go in the store? Ouch. Yup. No, I can uh, I can understand that. Oh. But uh Yeah, it's the main reason I like uh yeah. Yeah, that's and that's why that's why I don't play like if an MMO has a subscription fee, it's one of the reasons I don't play it. Like sometimes I'll get them to try it cuz like obvious like most of them, "Hey, Keo, what's going on?" Most of them come with, you know, a, a month or a couple months free for the first little bit. I find it funny that we're talking about Final Fantasy XIV and fucking Keo pops in the chat. Of course he would. Yeah, yeah, Final Fantasy XIV glutton. But, uh, like, it's, it's the subscription fee that is the big, big deterrent for me. Because, you know, I bought the game and, like, constantly dumping money into it is like a big no-no for me because like the amount of money that like some people dump into mmos for like their subscription fee and stuff i could easily dump into getting a new game um leveled all jobs max on crafting yep no 100 percent, 100 percent. like and that's definitely not for everybody I don't mind it sometimes, like, I like to do a little, like, I'm a grinding, like, re I'm a grinding master, like, that's what I do with these games, I overlevel myself, just because, like, uh, the start of, uh, 14, it is, it is, but, uh, the start of 14, I had every single side quest done before I finished the game. Anytime I find side quests, I get I get all of the side quests done before I go and do the main story quests because I like to be over leveled because I like to enjoy the story. So like anytime I'm doing like the side quests and stuff, I just put on something so that I don't have to pay attention. Like I'll I'll sit there and I'll watch a movie while doing side quests or like if I'm playing something like. A single player RPG I'll I'll put on a movie while I sit there and I run around in circles and kill stuff <coughs> yeah no I can uh... yeah yeah no, that's that's something I found that was a little interesting that they did for that yeah you're not wrong you're not wrong Keo it's just just how I like to be I like to get all the end games or end game stuff. I like to get the side stuff done and like get over leveled so that like mobs aren't a problem. Yup. Uh, I've been hearing uh, uh, no problem, Keo. I've been hearing two different things for eight though. It's uh, oh no, Kane's going evil again. Uh, I've been hearing two different things for eight. Some say eight is based off Squall's level. And some say Ace is based off of the 
total level of your party which can also make sense if you don't level squall because then he keeps like the average level down by a bunch because if you're level 99 you got somebody who's like level eight which i think is the the level they start at then obviously the the average is gonna take a deep deep dive i'm almost 100 percent certain it's squall's level but like i heard somebody else like i heard uh some other people saying like that it was the average but I, f I find it funny that there's actually a uh, a trophy and a slash achievement for eight for not leveling Squall up. Oh no, we gotta save Kane. No, I can definitely definitely understand where you're you're coming from there, Chris. Oh, look at that. Can I, can I disembark now and go to the tower? No? No tower? Okay. But yeah, that's what I mean. So, like, if you got uh, three people... Like, you got your, your three people in your party, so... Yeah, because if you got two people level 99 and Squall is level 8, that drops your average level down to 68. Yeah, so like, even at max level, like, that's a giant drop. Like, that's friggin', that's almost like, f that's like 30 plus levels that you're down. So like, the power difference is ridiculous. I think the only ones that don't scale are bosses. I'm not sure if that's true or not, but I think bosses might not scale. I think they're just the same all around. <laughs> you have returned. Where is the crystal? Well, you know that guy that was evil and then we saved him? Well, he's evil again. Unless Legend of the Lunar Whale... Uh, one born of a dragon, city of legend, home of the mages in the overworld, the city truly exists. Uh, why do you ask? Lunar whale, time to go get the lunar whale. Time to dig our way out. Hey Sid, how's it going? I see you're awake. You should be in bed. Eh, whatever. Yeah, no, that's why I like free MMOs, because, like, well, some free MMOs, because a lot of the ones that are free are really, really bad. Like, I've seen some really, really terrible MMOs. Uh, I don't mind 76. I like 76 mainly for just, like, the combat style for it. I know a lot of people hate on 76. Um, New World, I'm not finding too bad but like it's the grind for like skills and stuff like that so <coughs> i haven't really gotten too too far in it i'm just kind of like meandering i do things every now and again with it uh although i'll probably be playing a lot of it the next little bit because the christmas event's going on I want some fancy christmas things uh i'm trying to think what else elder scrolls is decent every now and again Uh, I'm trying to think what other MMOs this I do. Destiny, I don't mind Destiny because it's a very, very different type of MMO. Um, I guess Borderlands is technically an MMO now, like Borderlands 3. So now to go to Baron. Get myself a Sylph. But for the most part, I tend to stay away from them. All oh, right, the fat chocobo. I'm trying to think what else. Uh, but yeah, most most times I'm a very single player player game kind of person. Like I love my Final Fantasies. Uh, Star Ocean's another big one. Uh, the Suicoden series. 
Although after two, it kind of starts to go downhill. I find like the other games are okay; they're they're decent, but like compared to one and two, like they are nowhere near what they used to be. S one and two, like so we could. I'm saying that wrong. So Den or Star Ocean. <laughs> Gotta remember, there's many S's. Yeah. Oh my god, so, so good. Three was, three was okay, four was alright. I can't remember how many there are now, because I, it's been so long since I've played them. Oh, there's my other airship. There's this lovely thing. Oh, right, I can get out of this, get in this. Yep, this is the, the Pixel Remaster. Uh, which one was where you leave the beginning village and you can push the wall? I can't remember. I think... I think you could do it in both. Yeah, I find a lot of the DS versions of uh, are you ta uh, I find a lot of the DS versions of of friggin Final Fantasy games are like ridiculously easy. Like I have a cartridge copy of 1. And like playing the cartridge copy of 1 versus any of the remakes of 1 is just like no friggin' difference. Like, or not no difference. But yeah, the like all of the, the remakes. Oh, friggin' tactics. Tactics is another another friggin' crazy, crazy game. Great story. Beautiful, beautiful story. And I love love the gameplay for tactics, just because it's so different and if you over level yourself. Oh? What are these some of the uh, achievements for it? But uh yeah, like the friggin' tactics, the more you level yourself, the harder it gets besides story missions. Cause like I have um I can't remember if my characters are maxed or not, but I know that a bunch of my classes are friggin' level 99 so I'm like ridiculously high in level and friggin like if I get in regular battles depending on if I have the proper classes or the proper classes on my characters like I get friggin murked like I get wrecked so bad okay so where are we going straight down Like, I find monks in tactics are, like, one of the craziest, like, most powerful classes to friggin' play. Oh, yeah, oh, right, right, three is, three is one of the, the job classes one. Yup. Oh, my God, trying to get some of those, like, I just, obviously, I just finished three a couple weeks ago. And just like getting some of those, some of those classes up, man, is nuts. I think I only maxed two, maybe three job classes per character. And that was it, just because like I was getting through the game and I was like, I can't, like if I switch to uh, a lower job class, like it just takes so ever to, so, so friggin' long to get it back up enough that you're doing any kind of damage to like actually hurt something. I hate these fucking floors. No, 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 we're going. Fucking Malbros. Malbros in these earlier games are scary as all hell.
Yeah, I found a really, really easy way to level in Final Fantasy Tactics, though. Nope, see you later. Yeah, friggin' Final Fantasy Tactics. All you have to do is kill all the monsters but one, weaken the monster just enough so that it starts to run away from you, and then just constantly hit and heal your teammates. And because you get you get your job points and your experience from everything that you do. Not just the monster kills. Yeah, exactly. So like you sit there, you hit your teammate, you get experience and job points for it. Then you use like somebody you've got set up as a healer to heal said teammate. So then you get job points and experience points for that. Then you use the other one to attack the first guy and just like keep keep doing it. And like it's nuts. Or depending if you get I think Squire up high enough, you don't even have to do that. You just keep charging your your. Uh, you do one of the abilities that uh, charges your power, and friggin' fuck. I forgot to go to Baron to talk to his wife. So now I gotta go back through that cave again. <laughs> I'm rambling on too much. I'm forgetting where the fuck I'm, I'm going. Yeah, there's one of them where it just charges your attack or your speed or whatever like stat, uh, stat you try to do and does the same thing. So like, you know, max out Squire and then uh, put whatever job class that you want on. And then just... Uh, Change, uh, change your secondary skill set to Squire and just start like maxing out your your damage and your speed and everything and then it just goes bump experience bump experience and you're just like what and then eventually you just speed level everything like the amount of classes I have um Uh, maxed in tactics is crazy. Is that a floor down? Uh, I don't think it's this tower I was supposed to be in. Or maybe it was. Uh, I think Odin is down here. I'm not going to go there just yet. Yes, definitely went the wrong place. Yeah, like I usually try to find stuff like that just to like mass level really quick. What are these? Oh yeah, the two research labs. Right, right, right. Um, I'm trying to remember. It was, it was in here, right? Uh, I'm trying to think. Oh, I feel like I've forgotten what east and west are. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I know. Like, um, I'm trying to think what else, because there's specific places in each game. Like, 7 and 8, I believe, both have a, um, Cactar Island. I believe it's more for, oh yeah, I think it's more for training, like, um, your skills, because I know 8 Cactar Island gives, I think Cactars give you the most AP to level up, uh, to get all your summon skills. And seven, I believe it's also, I think it might also be AP as well, to get your materia up. Oh, I'm in the wrong fucking castle. Not supposed to go to Baron. 
Yang's wife isn't here. Wait a second, I don't even think I'm in Baron. Yes, yes, Seven has the magic pots, but you can't find those until endgame. 